Welcome to learn new technology. In this video, we are going to see how we can install Cucumber in Eclipse and what are the dependencies required for Cucumber program run and a few Maven dependencies required for Cucumber program. So the, these things we are going to install now. Let's get into Eclipse now. We have launched Eclipse now. So we are going to install Cucumber now. For that I have notes. So this is the link from where we can download Cucumber. So for that go to help, then install new software. Then here you can paste the link that we have copied. Then select this checkbox and click on next. Let's wait for the installation. So the, below you can see it started installing. So here uh, you need to click on next. Then you need to accept the terms and license agreement. Then you need to click on install anyway. Then click on restart now. So it will automatically restart. restart. So let's close this welcome. Now we need to <clears throat> go to file. Other we need to select Maven project. Click on next. Then here you need to check create a simple project. Click on next. Then here you need to give group ID as well as artifact ID. So both may be same. Cucumber demo. Let's give the name as. Then let's copy paste. Same. So in between there is a space. That's where it shows the error. Let's remove the unwanted space. Then here you can remove the space. Then the error will go off. Let's click on finish. So now the Maven project is created. So all the required resources are installed. So let's get into perm.xml file. So click on enter. Then I have the notes. So these are the dependencies for Cucumber. So we can copy these things. Let's paste it here. Then it, it will automatically install from Maven website. So let's save it. So after that, let's go to source main Java. Click right click new folder. Let's create a new folder. Let's give the folder name. So let's give the name as features. Then click on finish then click on then right click then let's give the let's uh, create the new file as login features feature then click on finish so this is the file auto generated as we have saved the name as with the dot x features so let's remove these things we don't want these things currently so let's remove the tag also so the feature uh, so here we can give the scenario so what we are going to test verify login then let's remove these things we don't don't want now let's remove these two lines also 
so after that so we need to change these things scenario verify login functionality so these things are auto generated so as per our requirement we can customize it so given that is called uh, precondition uh, browser should be launched then next and so here we can uh, remove it as we don't require now then here when portal is launched here uh, two and statements not required currently then automation script should be able to enter the credentials for login and script should be able to log in so this is a requirement for the demo purpose i have added these things so in your case you can add your as per your requirement so let's save it and run as cucumber feature so when you right click on you'll get these options as we have installed cucumber software cucumber plugin then maven dependencies also we have installed so console we will get you know a few blocks of code that we need to copy so it's auto generated when we run this script so here features verify login scenario given when and so these are the gherkin keywords that we have added in our script so this is the block of code that we need to add in separate class files so let's copy these files then let's create one package so the name will be stuff definition so here uh, we have selected the new package let's give the name as step definition let's click on finish and uh, right click new then let's create a new class let's give the name as login validate then click on finish so the class is class file is created so here we can include the the code which we have received after the script auto generated so here uh, if you mouse over it will give you import so we can import so then the error will go off then so these lines are not required now currently so import then next then let's import these things after that this also not required let's remove it then let's remove it so this one we can remove then this line also not required now so let's remove the lines which are not required now so now we have cleaned after that so here uh, let's save it and uh, write the script for the login let's maximize it then next so we need to set the property for the driver chrome driver system dot set 
property with the key with value so so in between the first one will be the key and the second one will be the value so the first code uh, we will give the we will declare then second thing will give the path path of the chrome driver so before that we need to get the chrome driver from the website so google you can type download chrome driver so that you'll get it uh, before that you need to get the version in uh, so you need to get the version of your chrome browser then you need to download same version from the uh, google so here i declare so here in d drive i have the chrome driver so let, i'll show it now so th this is the driver that i have in my system so i'll give the, i'm going to give the path here then you need to give the name of the exe file chrome driver dot exe so after that web driver web driver is one of the interface then we are going to create the object so here we have given the name of the object is driver then new chrome driver so new chrome, new chrome driver is one of the class chrome driver class so we are going to create the object with the help for the web driver interface with the help of chrome driver class so this is the portal that we are going to automate now so here uh, you need to give the url that we have copied from the browser so that it will launch the uh, page so next uh, let's uh, enter driver at find element by dot so id so i think we can get the id from the portal for the web element username so then we are using send keys method to enter the value in the text box username field so here this is the username let's copy this username then paste it here after that so we need to get the locator of the located value of the web element username so right click select inspect element so here you can get the locator id username so let's uh, and copy and paste it here likewise we need to write password field also driver at find element by dot so here also we can get id of the web element so id is a locator so we need to get the value for the password field then so we need to send the password so for that before that uh, let's get the value of the locator id for the password field so we enter the id value for the password field after that let's copy the password value let's include it here let's save it then you need to write the code for click on button that we have the submit button so driver dot find element then here by dot id then you need to get the locator value for the submit button so click is one of the method so let's finish it with colon so before that it shows some error let's correct it now so still it shows error let's find out the soli solution for that oh, now it's corrected so let's get the value of the locator inspect then id value we got it so let's paste it here then let's save it 
after that uh, here so most likely uh, we did all those things so this is a feature file here do we need to do anything so as of now not required so the code which we have enough so let's uh, get into the this class so you need to after that so we need to run this uh, feature file so that we'll get the output so we'll come to know that uh, whether the script is working properly or not so before that we need to you know once the browser is launched it, it should be maximize it so that it looks good so window is one of the method maximize is also one of the method so let's save it then so do we need to require do we need to add anything let's check it out okay let's go to login dot feature file so right click select run as cucumber feature so it started running browser launched then uh, logged in so now we are in dashboard so our script worked well um, so in the console we can see one passed four steps passed so this is a basic program so as per your requirement you can add so these are the output that we have received in the console login validate portal is launched then validate script should be able to log in so it was launched successfully so here uh, for the demo purpose i have used only one method so based on your requirement you can add multiple methods and you, you can globally declare the driver so that you, you can use all the methods so these are the dependencies that you require please subscribe this channel so that you will get more updates in coming days so you can learn new technology so you will get improved thanks for watching have a good day